The Raptors take on the Celtics game four, and that's going to be a 6.30 p.m. Eastern tip-off. The Celtics are up two games to one in the series, but despite that, the Raptors are the one-point favorite. Totals 214. I'm 5-0 and with a push on my last six extra daily pick tier package plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. I'm also hitting at 73% my last 16 picks in that same category. If you want some uh, access to these exclusive premium sports picks, it'll only cost you $2.99, and the link for that site is in the description section below. Once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, the Celtics suffered a heartbreaking one-point loss in Game 3 on a buzzer, be- uh, buzzer beater with uh, half a second left in the game. And that's certainly a morale crusher considering they were 0.5 seconds away from going up 3-0 in the series. Uh, Boston's also starting to get uh, you know, a bit banged up here. Hayward and Green are still out. Poirier is out as well. Waters has been downgraded to questionable for today's game as well. Boston ranks in the bottom 10 in the league in first quarter scoring, and they are taking on a gritty, resilient Raptors team who won 12 out of their uh, last 15 games in the bubble, and that's good for a win percentage of 800 following the restart. Toronto's in the top 10 in shooting the three ball, top 10 in free throw percentage. They've held their opponents to just 105 points per contest in their last six games. And they rank the top three in the league in fewest points allowed per game. Freddie Van Fleet is scoring 20 points a game in the playoffs, four rebounds, seven assists, and a couple of steals. Pascal Siakam is averaging 18 a night in the postseason as well. Seven rebounds, four assists for him. And Kyle Lowry is also getting 16 playoff points a night, six rebounds, six assists, and a couple of steals for him. Now we are looking at a Toronto Raptors team who's in the top three in the league in defending the three ball. They're also in the top five in fourth quarter scoring. Toronto's won nearly 77% of their games uh, as the away team this season, and they are certainly away from their home court today. They also win over 80% of their contests when favored. Now, total-wise, five out of the Raptors' last six games stayed under the posted total. They also saw six out of their last 10 head-to-head meetings with the Celtics stay under the number. Meanwhile, Boston on the other side saw eight out of their last nine ball games stay under the total themselves. Give me the Toronto Raptors minus one and the under 214 in that contest. Before we go ahead and move on, uh, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personalines out for Saturday's NBA playoff basketball action. Happy Saturday to you. Hopefully you guys are having a great start to your weekend. Now, before we go ahead and dive into some more free content here, I just have to quickly remind you that we are 5-0 with a push in our last six extra daily picks uh, on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also hitting at 73% in our last 16 picks in that very same package as well. And that membership costs just $2.99 exceptional value there for more information on how you can join in on the action link for that site is in the description section below and once again that's patreon.com slash brock page and moving on we're going to take a look at the nuggets clippers game two 9 p.m east clippers are up one game to nothing in the series la is also the nine point favorite in game two totals 222 and a hook now the clippers demolished the nuggets in game one by 23 points and actually held the Nuggets to just 16 points in the third quarter alone. LA's won their last three straight and they have successfully covered the point spread in seven out of their last nine. Now LA's in the top three in scoring, top three in offensive rebounding. They're also winning over 74% of their ball games when favored. Very good when laying the juice. Kawhi Leonard's averaging 32 points a game in the postseason. Nine rebounds, five assists, and a couple of steals for Kawhi. Paul George is also scoring 19 a game in the playoffs. Seven rebounds, four assists for George. And Lou Williams is uh, dropping 15 playoff points a game from the bench. Three rebounds, four assists for Lou. The Clips are in the top five in shooting the three ball. Top three in second quarter scoring. I know that's kind of a quirky stat, but... um, 
you know, keep in mind, if they go off in the second, you heard it here. But anyway, they're taking on a Denver squad who's won just four out of their last 11, and they're winless in their last six straight versus the Pacific Division. Denver's in the bottom half of the league in scoring on average per game, bottom half in offensive rebounding. The Nuggets are also winning just 42% of their ball games when catching plus money, and they also rank in the bottom 10 in the league in defending the three ball. Now, total-wise, seven out of Denver's last 10 ball games got over the posted total. They also went 81% to the over in their last 16. Meanwhile, the Clippers on the other side saw four out of their last six ball games get over the number themselves. Give me the Clippers, minus nine, and the over 222.5 in that contest. And with that, we're going to dive into some shout-outs. Um, actually, uh, shout-out to Tennis Infusion, who uh, actually dropped a comment. He said, uh, wow, what a bold prediction. I wish I could show you my $5,000 ticket right now on the Vegas Golden Knights, LMFAO. Hey, uh, congrats on the win uh, with the Golden Knights. Uh, you actually can show me the ticket. Just post it on Instagram and tag me at uh, BrockPageIG. And uh, I'll be able to look at it. But once again, congrats on the win. And good luck in the next round with your Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, shout out to S. Cooper, who said, like I said, take Miami minus four and a half. Well, uh, I did take Miami plus the points yesterday in that one. And uh, that was actually my dog of the day pick on Patreon as well. But uh, I'm guessing if you had Miami minus four and a half, I guess that was some sort of alternate spread where you probably got paid like plus three dollars or something like that. So uh, enjoy the win, my man. Nice hit. Uh, great job. Uh, Artin Martirosian said, uh, said in the comments section, all of the calls he made were wrong for this game, referring to me. And uh, yes, uh, out of all the content I produce, there might be a game or two out there where I lose on the side in the total. No big deal. Got to move on. Uh, Polo Pabin said, I've been waiting on these picks for hours. I already put mine in now, shaking my head. Well, I'll tell you this much, Polo, I'm sorry that happened to you, but if you want your picks bright and early, our Patreon plays are normally posted around 7 or 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, never later than noon Eastern Standard Time. And finally, my good friend SOP Striker uh, commented in the comments section. He said, thanks, Brock, exclamation point. Hey, you're welcome, SOP. Hopefully the uh, sandy beaches of the Jersey Shore are treating you kindly. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you want to shout out or you want me to read your comments, all you got to do is post a comment in the comment section below. And uh, hopefully for you, maybe I'll get to that and read it right here on the podcast. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Saturday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.